Alrighty, folks. Welcome back to the Long Dark with yours truly, Joel Fleagolas, and I'm picking up right about where I left off. And, uh, yeah. I'm, right now, I'm in the, uh, cave linking Pleasant Valley to Mystery Lake, and, uh, yeah. We're just gonna get to Pleasant Valley and to Mystery Lake. I apologize if the frame rate isn't the best right about now because I'm um, currently uh, uploading some uh, other Long Dark videos to YouTube <laughs> while recording this. And that's eating up a decent amount of RAM. So I've just got my task manager open here and it looks like uh, Long Dark is using only about one point six gigabytes of RAM and it's not too bad on the CPU honestly it's around 16 percent for me the game is mostly GPU limited not Wonder CPU limited any of this gear. but uh, it's not doing too badly honestly all things considered what do you have there Pain from a fall. Well, we can, we can get rid of the pain. That's not by using meds. Like, oh, painkillers. I got so darn many of them. Just to make it easier for you folks to see. I don't know. I checked this fellow already. How do they want to eat? Um, energy bar. Sure. Anything else? This is the part that confuses me every time I come here. <laughs> I swear. No, don't pick up the coal, Astrid. No. We got back here. This will come in handy. I don't need a bedroll. Did I check this care? Alright, well. That's not where I want to be. Go left. You'd think I'd know this cave by now, but <laughs> I still am not very good at navigating this one. I'll be perfectly honest with y'all. But that's uh, okay. Here is no rush, folks. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. All the cairns in the cave, eh? Kilroy was here. 17. I think there's only cairns in the uh, regions of the Long Dark that were um, in the game while well, it was in uh, I'm not sure I can carry much Alpha more. and Beta. Uh, the weather's not terrible, but it's not, a, not great. It's very windy. I can't tell if it's the snow is ending and the night is clearing up, or if it's oh, it starts snowing. You wonder why this game is called The Long Dark, eh? It's pretty dark at night. Yeah, it's like snow is starting. I think we'll probably sleep in Carter. That'd be a good idea. Why not? I 
don't know how much you can see. I can't see that much right now, but I know this way. Wrong way. I know this way reasonably well, so I don't think I need the light right now, but I have it in my hand in case I'll need it, because... Invisibility's not too bad in this game on a moonlit night, but when the moon's not out, it's not great, as you can see. Look, let's Okay, I thought the loons were only on the coast. Mars all frozen. Should have enough to make it anyway. Yeah, I can always make more lamp oil by going fishing, so it's not a big deal. Oh, sounds like a rabbit had a bad day. And it's turning into wolf food. Poor rabbit. I can't see this guy. I'm just switch to a flare. I need light. I need a. See, it's got to charge me. My, my, uh, flare. Where is it? I got a flare. Don't get too close, because I will set you on fire. I walked too far. I missed the trail up. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I got plenty of flare. I'm going after Astrid. I'm like, I don't like going after Astrid, big guy. Cause You're going to get burned, Astrid. Astrid will touch you with that flare and... You're going to be set alight, like the Wargs in the Lord of the Rings. I'm sure you're going to love that, getting set alight by Astrid's Flare, eh?
I know the Vaughn's rifle can spawn around the dam somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. I looked for it, I think, at one point in this playthrough, but I don't know where it is. This playthrough. There's a few spots I can spawn. Wolf, wolf! I don't know where the wolf is. Is he below? Astrid? I don't know if he can get up here, to be honest. This pathing can be a bit complicated and convoluted. Which I know. And it can be quite annoying. Alright, Carter Hydro Dam. I think I looked at these pipes, didn't I, for the rifle? I think if it spawns, it's not in these guys. I think it's in. I know it can spawn in these pipes, but, uh... I'm pretty sure if it does, it's on the other side of the dam, not on this side, if the memory serves correctly. Pallets. I don't see it behind these pallets, so. <sighs> nice hunting knife. Well, we don't need one right now. I'm not quite sure where the rifle is in this playthrough, but. Well, we might might stumble across it. I'll take it if I see it. If I don't, I won't take it. Well, this wire will probably last just long enough to get Astrid pretty much into the dam, and then I think we'll go and just sleep in the dam, and then make more way in the morning because. Driving through the dam at night's okay, because it's dark there anyway, but... I don't like traveling at night in the mystery light. It's yeah. no fun. You get another mega light out here, just so I can see a bit better. Sorry. Try, well, we can break them up. Let's see. Can we do it? Well, let's take a look, just for fun. Because y'all would probably want me to find the rifle, don't you? <laughs> it's getting cold. Burr. No. Nothing in there. Really? Getting a bit thirsty. Do you thirsty now? Oh, deer carcass is not a rifle. I'm gonna get rid of all this wood because it's reclaimed wood. It's very hefty. No rifle. Alright. Backpack? Note for the rifle, maybe? Not really. Alright, let's just go and uh, enter uh, the dam and sleep. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. Uh, I'll take a little for coffee. Go play a lamp well. Let's do it. Pot. What a pot. Oh, there it is. I could use this. It's a nice light rifle. I like it. I think that's ooh, 48.6. She's a bit hefty. Not ideal. This will come in handy. Yeah, a bit of pop can't hurt. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. I gotta read these books. Yeah. I 
I know, I'm feeling being a packer. I should use my Club Y. Do I have a Club Y? I don't know if I do or not. I don't think I do. Audio bug there. Interesting. Let's have a quick drink, Aster, because I see you're thirsty. Alright, well, let's keep going. And we're gonna go into like the main room of the dam and just sleep there for a good eight hours. That will be good. Vaughn's rifle is light, which is kind of nice for someone who doesn't use it very often, but it also isn't super durable. I'm not going to search that. Nothing I need. Honestly, it's not. 48.5 is not terrible, but I would like to get a little lighter if possible. I was gonna say, don't carry the dang rifle. Well, <laughs> I, you know, yeah, that's a fair point. But sorry, I want to carry the rifle. So, yeah, end of story. We have security to use rifle holster, which we can find I think at the end of this quest, and that will make this rifle a bit lighter. with this much gear. Okay, we'll take that lantern and just sort of switch it out for the one we have, because it will get more fuel in it. Well, it makes sure not to sleep on these wires, because Astrid will probably get electrocuted if that's what she does. I'm sorry, Astrid. You're heavy and you're tired. I get it. No, as far as I know, storm lanterns don't degrade, so the condition of the storm lantern really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna drop this one off here and pick up and use the other one because it's got more fuel in it. Alright, we're just gonna drop it. And let's drop the bedroll. Got a quick bite to eat. Some energy bars. Chocolate bar, sure. Salty crackers, let's go eat. And drink some more water. And well, I guess we'll go get some sleep, Astrid, and see you in the morning. So, I guess have a good night. Some nine hours of sleep, uh, or eight hours should be enough, right? <laughs> Let's get eight hours sleep, and let's see in the morning. Okay. Uh, let's get another hour, why not? Catherine says she's still a little tired, so let's give some more sleep. Okay. Where's some nine? It's not terrible. You know what's making us heavy is all these books. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. How many bullets that carry? Twenty two rifles. That's why I want to have a rifle, because I got so much rifle ammo, it's insane. Let's go load Vaughn's rifle. It's in really good shape too. Alright, Astrid. Put lots of bullets in that thing. I think we have more rifle. Bit more rifle and revolver ammo? I don't know. What was revolver ammo though? What does disaster it have? <laughs> so much, my goodness. She could join the ZSU and take on Russians with all this. Uh, 
Oh. Astrid says, oh yeah, that might might require getting out of uh, Great Bear, which is not so easy for Astrid right now. Okay. So I guess we're stuck here. There'll be wolves and there'll be bears we can use the bullets on as needed. Hope nobody needs this anymore. No. I don't either. Exit. Okay, we'll be out of Carter in just a sec. And we're off to Forlorn Muskeg, I guess, right? It's a blizzard. I don't really want to travel in blizzards. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh. Grab those pinnacle peaches because they're so hefty. I mean, they're nice, but they're very heavy. We'll stop at camp office. Do a cook. Cook some pinnacle peaches, right? Do we have cabin fever risk? No. Astrid's fine. Follow the railroad tracks, I guess. We have a memento for this one, don't we? We don't. I think there's a memento in this truck. We serves. Oh, I haven't searched it, have I? I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's the cave. It's the Mountain Town Cave. I haven't been here in this playthrough, really. I guess I was just taking the river every time, eh? Ah, oh, good old Mystery Lake. The very first map added to the Long Dark back at when it was in Alpha. It's gone through, through a few iterations since its release, but it's still a nice map, honestly. Mystery Lake, in my opinion, is kind of the... The map that has a little bit of everything. It has a bit of wilderness, it has a bit of industry, it has a bit of a few, can, few structures. Some wildlife. Some topography. Honestly, Mystery Lake to me is like the really, a really balanced map more than anything else. See how warm is it? Well, it's 15, so pretty warm. It's a fairly warm map that's honestly very balanced in many, many ways. So, I like it. That's true, but it's not my favorite map because it's, I guess it's just because, A, well, I got the Long Dark in 2019, which was um, quite a while after the Alpha, so. I don't remember the days when you could only play Mystery Lake. And, uh, in my opinion, Mystery Lake is kind of the map that is the jack of all trades, master of none in both ways. Reloading? No, it doesn't. Well, I definitely do not have to be sparing with ammunition. <laughs> I can use as much as I like. Because I just have a ton of it. I think I might have even more in Mindful Cabin? Either Mindful Cabin, no, I think I have a little more in a place called Island Cottage. It, uh, I might have left some there. I'm not sure. A 
Golden Drift Island. I might have some, might have some extra ammo. So it's going to take me a pretty long, me and Astrid, a really long time to go through. 80 rounds of revolver ammo and even longer go through all that rifle ammo. And unless I get stuck with a bunch of Aurora Timberwolves and um, <laughs> Bleak Inlet, that can, those guys at least can eat up ammo for breakfast. Where's Astrid's rifle firearm? Level one, so she's not a very good rifle woman. You know what? But she's good with the revolver. Let's she run away. Oh, they ran away from a wolfskin coat. I see. Yeah, you better run. I am not afraid to shoot you. <laughs> Hi. Want to find out? Want to play? You want to play? Come on in. I got a warm welcome for you. You want to come? You want more? You want more? You want more? Pitch that time. Ha 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 ha. Now I know for a fact that that revolver and rifle shots don't really stop a charging bear. Because, uh, you can kill a bear with one bullet, but it will just bleed out. I'd like to go cook up those pinnacle peaches. Get some sticks and start a fire with the mag lens. Cause it's a good day for that. What do I have to drink? Uh, I can have a coffee to stay awake. Let's go get a couple sticks over here and just make the uh, let's go make some uh something to uh something to eat because I'm actually getting kind of hungry. A late, I guess a late lunch. Okay, let's do it, Astrid. Uh, go. We don't even need to use a match today because it's nice and sunny and clear. Now it doesn't really matter in Stalker that much, but if you're playing Interloper, being careful with uh, match use is kind of a useful skill to have. Alright, let's put a couple sticks on that fire. What do we got here? What do we, how do we make Thompson family Canned corn, carrots, potato, mushroom, and flour. I don't have any flour on me, but... How many canned corn does this take? Let me just check. 0.3 kilos. So, okay, we'll just cook one of these canned corn. These canned corn are so hefty. I wish this could be obtained in other ways. It's really annoying that you can only get in the bunkers. It's really weird. weird. Alright, there you go! Banged up pinnacle peaches. One of my favorites, right? We need some water. Let's go. 
Let's go eat some canned corn too. There we go. Is that tasty acid or what? I think we're good. Let's just go. Eat some veggies. Is that the wolf that we shot? No, it's just a rock. Okay. Probably reload the gun. You know? We'll pick these up. We'll put them in the bunker and they can let. I think the battery for this transmitter is very close to, uh, is at the site. I think the only thing I need is a wire now. I imagine there's to be, like, one wire at, I, there's usually a wire at, uh, what's it called? At the old Spence farm. So I'm going to take a quick look there and see if I can't find a wire. And then we should get this transmitter running for tonight. Let's have a quick cup of Joe. I know it's cold, but, you know, It'll keep Astrid awake. That's all that matters. There we go. How's my how's her weight? Oh, not bad at all. Six four six point nine five. That's decent. I dealt with much worse. <laughs> it's okay as long as Astrid doesn't have to do any rope climbing. Then like like under any under ten kilos of weight's not too bad. Every kilo overweight is like two percent. Speed penalty. I think something like that, isn't it? I think so. four percent but I know that from experience that being like five like five six kilos overweight is not that big a deal that's what is still moving relatively quickly progress towards Forlorn Muskeg. I'm aware there's a couple more towers. There's one in Black Rock, and then there's one in, um... Uh, there's like a point that I haven't fixed yet. But I'll leave the supplies there, and then take them to Lord Richter. <coughs> What's going on? What is, what's this happened there? Your location? What the heck? I've never gotten this one before. Where'd the wolf go? Oh. Yeah, you're gonna charge me, aren't you? 
Come on! Bring it! <laughs> Plenty of firearm cleaning kits too, so I'm not going to be bashful about using bullets. There. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. It is a little heavy. Well, I guess firing, firing off bullets does <laughs> reduce weight a little. I've heard that to leave the empty casings in a revolver that it that then they don't add to the inventory. Wait. Though the effect is pretty negligible, honestly. Because the casings are like 0 0.005 kilos each, and like 50 grams of pop, they're extremely light. What a beautiful day. Yeah, more wolves? Well, that'll give Astrid more experience using her revolver, because, well... Eh. Okay, you want to be in the way? Well, I'm going to take care of you, too. Plenty of wool bullets for timber wolves left, so don't think that I'm not going to use them. Hi. Yeah, you better run. You're not going to run. You should have listened to your pal because you know what's coming for you. This. There. That's what's coming for you if you chase Astrid. These wolves need to learn a lesson. Maybe if Astrid shoots enough wolves, they'll learn to leave her alone. Watch out here. This is where you can where you actually have a problem. Is if it's a wolf at the top of the summit that I that suddenly sees Astrid and can charge her without with very little warning, then. Astro might not be able to get the gun up fast enough. I wish there was a skill you could, uh... Train to improve your struggle with it. Oh, man! Look at all the wolves out today! Holy smokes! One, two, three, four. How many wolves have I seen today? There's two there, one there. So many wolves today. <laughs> All right, well. Please reload so I can be ready for more wolves if I need to be. There's a couple wolf stumps down there, I see. All right, we're making for Spence. What time is it? Ah, uh, late afternoon. That's good. It's good timing. We should Spence is just over down that way. Uh, I could just get rid of these wolves, but uh, part of me's like, do I really want to use more bullets on these guys? Well, if I have to. But... Yeah, their eyesight clear isn't all that good. I don't know if wolves will can run over weak ice, or if, they'll, or if they will path over it to get to you. I don't know. I know that at one point there was a lot of frustration in the community about what was it, bears dying on weak ice and then being unharvestable in Bleak Inlet and Forlorn Muskeg? Because 
yeah, it totally makes sense that a several hundred pound bear could stand on ice that a human could not. Oh, let's run acid! Ooh. That was a close one. <laughs> Do you have crampons on? I don't think she does. We don't have any crampons, do we? No, we don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any crampons. It's just... I need for doing this weak ice kind of thing. I think you can stand on weak ice for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. It's just quite long. I must have been pretty darn close to punching through it there. More wolves, holy stop. I mean, the, cr the crampons can get you over, give you six seconds on weak ice. Improvised crampons are five and a half, and... Nothing is five seconds on week, guys. Uh, I don't know if I can make it over that. Was I here before? I think I can use this. Oh, I don't need a torch right anyway. Run, Astrid! Don't get stuck on a... That would be annoying if you get stuck on a... A branch and then fall through the ice. That would be a... <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. Couldn't Astrid just grab onto the... Tree if the ice gave way? Apparently not. <laughs> So in my experience, weak ice doesn't quite work in real life like it does in the game. <laughs> um, last time I was on weak ice, I didn't get five seconds of the ice slowly cracking before falling through. <laughs> it broke right away. And I fell through. That being said, I was in extremely shallow water. Only about up to my... Only up to my ankles or something. Like... I forgot my shin when I did that, so. Not a big deal, but. When ice breaks, it tends to break pretty much instantly, in my experience. Oh, there's the high blind. Cool. Let's see what we. Is there any bullets here? Uh, some wood and some scrap metal. Do we need scrap metal? I should grab some. So that's scrap metal, I can't fix them. Oh, this stuff. I don't really need it. I'll have some sardines, why the heck not? I only have one scrap metal. Hopefully I can find a bit more. I think it's rip up. Let's see if the stuff I can rip up. To salvage. I should have brought more, darn it. Oh well. Fish here? I don't know. No. There's probably some scrap, but there's at least a couple chunks usually at the fence. There might be a couple chunks around the bottom of the tower. I might be able to rip up some old tools and stuff to make it scrap metal. Bar, because honestly, I don't really need the. Pry bar is like one piece, I think, right there. 
There might be some scrap around the bunkhouses and just around the farm. I'll find. There should be a wire, at least a bit, one piece of wire in Spence, I think. Well, we'll find out. Because <laughs> uh, I really hope I don't have to go on another wild goose chase to <laughs> find the stuff to fix a transmitter, because that, that was a little frustrating. Having to go all the way to Dead Lake's Point just to get one stinking wire from Hibernia. I guess you could say that I got very unlucky with the uh, <laughs> uh, RNG. So... Going down. Okay, that's a no big, no biggie. It's a little walk from the transmitter to get too far to uh, Bleak Inlet. It's not. I have to go through a cave, and then it's uh, not. It's like a five-minute walk. Better not be weak ice, I don't think so. Now we're good. I wonder why the ice is so weak here. It's obviously not salt water. No a wolf in the way? Um, two wolves in the way? Okay. Well, wolves! Guess what's gonna happen to you if you... Oh my goodness. You wanna know what's gonna happen? Woof woof! <laughs> what shape's a revolver in anyway? 24%. Still in good shape. Astrid's a good shot with the revolver. Nicely done, Astrid. You're you're turning into a very good uh, revolver slinger. Is it gunslinger? Is that what you call someone who uses a revolver? Old Spence Family Homestead. This should be where I find wire. A couple chunks of metal, hopefully. There's some reclaimed wood just lying there. Alright, let's open the barn and see what I can find. Alright, we got some old wagon wheels, some coal, it's like a generator from Carter. This stuff will come in handy. Uh, yes. That's useful. That's the wires we needed. Those. I got cloth. I guess we'll take a chunk. One chunk of cloth. Cloth that I have. Four. That's good. Let's see what I got. Another chunk of scrap. <laughs> All right, what we got in here? This little sweater, in. no, not that good, honestly. No, thanks. Uh, I guess we'll take a chore because we need to lift something else there. I guess we'll take that, I suppose. So we got there. Scrap metal, matches. Do we need more matches? Uh, the outdoors. Nobody needs this anymore. You know what? I think we're just gonna start a fire and spend the night here and fix the transmitter in the next episode because um I like to read a book, you know. Like all these books, are I need to 
I just need to read these darn books. That's the long and short of the story. Piling up and ask what's inventory like this. Which one have I read? Any of these? Do I stick to start a fire? Alright, well, we can see what I can find. No, I don't think it's good. I think it's. Good weather. I'll take it. You know what? Screw that. Let's screw that idea. Do I have any? No. We could rip up the can opener, I suppose. The pry bar. The pry bar is heavy and they're pretty easy to find. Alright, so. We, uh, I think we're going to call it quits for this episode because it's... Uh, how long is it? I'll have to check the time on it. But... I'll have to check the time on it. And I think we'll leave... Leave it at this for now. And we'll go... Fix the transmitter and... Uh, go to the bunker in the next episode. So uh, take care and see you later. I'm just going to go read some books off camera. Because they're too heavy and... The skills are kind of useful, so take care, and see you later. Bye-bye.